Hello Scouts, we are going to be making a paracord wallet today. So what you will need is two different colors of paracord. You can find these in your camp in the box. Um, one is paracord that is intact, meaning it has the string still inside. And one is has been gutted and it has been flattened. So it looks more like a shoestring than paracord. This will make it easier to weave the wallet. Um, you can use it. If you have other paracord that you want to use that's not gutted, you can use that. Or you can gut the both of the paracords to make it easier to weave. Um, but one has been gutted for you. You also need um, the piece of cardboard for from your kit, the plastic needle from your kit, um, a couple pieces of tape. Uh, I have some washi or paper tape that I'm using today. Um, but you can use scotch tape or any other kind of tape, or if you'd rather, binder clips. Um, and that'll be just to help hold the paracord in place as we get started. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to start with one of your colors of paracords. I find it easier to start with the paracord that still has the string inside, so it's round. You're going to undo it, and then you're going to start wrapping it around um, the piece of cardboard for your wallet. So you're going to start uh, on one end. You're going to give yourself a little bit of overhang so that uh, we have something to tuck into the end when we're done. And this is where you would use that piece of tape to just kind of help hold that piece in place to start with. I'm just going to put a little piece right there. Um, and we'll be moving it several times so it doesn't have to be super secure. And you're just going to wrap um, the paracord all along the cardboard lengthwise. Um, it doesn't need to be super tight, but the, the pieces do need to be along the edge and next to each other. And you're just going to keep wrapping it all the way around. As you get to the end of the paracord, you're going to want to continue to wrap um, until it gets to finish a full row. Um, and see how I have just a little bit of overhang here? And that's totally fine. You're going to take your tape and just tape that down so it stays in place while you're working. Now, your paracord is not going to go the entire length of the cardboard, and that's okay. Um, you'll see how they're nice and close together but they're not super tight. I can still kind of move them around and get my needle underneath. The next part you're going to do is you're going to take your other paracord, um, and this is why I like to use the um, flattened paracord that has been gutted, because you're going to take one end and you're going to thread it through your needle. And this is going to be uh, what helps you thread it through the paracord. So once you've got this all together, you're going to take your needle and you're going to start doing an over-under pattern. Making sure not to skip any of um, the cords. It gets easier as you go through. The first couple of rows are really tough. Um, This side's coming up, so I'm just going to readjust the tape again and put it so it's not quite as more towards the end. Okay, and you're just going to pull this paracord all the way through. Once you've completed this first row, you're going to push it to the end so it's nice and tight up against the end of the piece of cardboard. And then the portion on the right hand side is going to be the open end of your wallet and the portion on the left hand side of the screen is going to be the closed piece. So you're going to turn this and remember that the last piece you went, you used, you went under. Okay, so as you turn this, you're going to start over on this side and you're going to go over. And 
it does get a little challenging to try and keep this first row on uh, which is why you may find easier to use the binder clip rather than tape um, but you don't have to use it for very long so you went oh under so now you're gonna go keep this nice and close to the edge you're gonna go over and under and just keep going over under over under all the way so it does get a little a little tight you can move your uh, binder clip or your tape down you see I haven't gone all the way through all of these but it sometimes it's a little bit easier to do part of the row and then go back and finish so you'll need to make sure that the pieces continue to stay nice and flat and I have a little twist here that I'm gonna undo I'm just kind of twist it towards you or away from you so that it stays nice and flat. Okay. Okay. And you can just use that end and use your fingers to kind of get it over here nice and tight on the end. Or you can use the edge of that um, needle. And then see how we've come to the end here again. What we're going to do is when we're going to wrap back around. So we're going to loop it. Um, so we were under, now we're going to go over the top and back down. And this will become the right hand side over here where I'm weaving from will become the open portion of our wallet where you can stick up your money or your cards or whatever you want to carry into your wallet. Okay. Continue that basket weaving pattern the entire length of the cardboard. Keeping the project on the cardboard as long as possible, you can go ahead and bend it, bend the cardboard a little bit to give your space, but do not remove it until the last couple of rows. As you can see, as you get closer and closer to the end, it gets tighter and a little bit harder to um, thread and do the basket weave. You really have to kind of pull things, um, even when you're bending the cardboard at the very end to get that pace. You can take the cardboard out. Just be careful to keep the shape and keep the um, threading on each side correct. Um, sometimes you, it might be helpful to have um, like a wooden skewer or a pen or even a uh, screwdriver to hold this piece up here so that you can keep the lacing on each side. But you just continue until you can't do any more lacing and then um, finish it off. And I'll show you how to do that once we get to that point. And this is where it's totally fine to take it one piece at a time. would go under. So what you would do now, kind of work it around so that all of the stitching is even. Um, it's okay if it's a little bit tighter over here than it is over here because it'll um, 
after you finish it and you kind of work things around, the um, stitching will even out a little bit. Is you have two options of how to finish this. Um, you can um, cut these pieces smaller and melt the ends um, and either use like a super glue or you can um, give yourself a little bit and then weave the ends back through. Um, for this project I chose to snip the ends, um, melt them so they did not fray, and then weave them through in the wallet and this is an example of this. Remember scouts that when we are cutting the paracord or melting the paracord that we need to make sure that we have adult permission and adult supervision to do this piece.